you got to wear a mask, it might as well be kind of fun, right? So I decided to paint my own masks. And today I'm going to take you on a journey on how I did that, what I used to do that, and what they ended up looking like. So stick around and uh, we'll get to painting. If you're new here, my name is Paige. I'm the chief pixel pusher and paint brusher over at Gumption. You can find me over at IHaveGumption.com or PageWeber.net. I am an artist, an illustrator, and a muralist now. So uh, if you're here, that probably means you're into art. And um, let's get started with these masks. So first, I tape my mask to my... A watercolor pad just to have a little bit of stability. I will tell you that I put a piece of cardboard where the filter would go and that made it so the two sides don't stick together. So next I pull out my GAC 900. This is what we're going to use to paint on this fabric and you can just follow the directions on the back of the label. When you mix Golden's GAC 900 with your acrylic paint this makes it so you can heat set it and it will be washable. So first and foremost, I actually sketched out my first mask in the iPad. I took a picture of the mask and then just painted over the top of it what I thought I wanted. First, I measure out the entire size of the mask and then I determine where the center point is so I can get that nose nice and centered. You can see here I'm using white charcoal pencils to draw on the mask. They can easily wash off. And here I'm measuring the center point where I think the nose ought to be placed. I sketch out my design first, figure out how I want it to look, and then from there, I begin painting. So here you can see I'm mixing up my paint first, I'm mixing the color that I want, and then I add my GAC 900 to that mixture. I really love this little square flat brush. It did a nice job filling in the gaps and making some even coats. Now you can see here, this painting is gonna require more than one coat. There's lots of layering that goes on in order to make this mask vibrant. I really tried to preserve some of the dark areas, at least so you could breathe through the mask. Uh, I didn't have too many dark areas, but that was my goal with the black mask. I got little mixing cups uh, off of Amazon for this and they actually worked pretty well because I could mix the paint and I didn't have to do it in a large quantity because I knew this mask, it's pretty small and I don't like wasting paint. This painting is a mixture of golden full body acrylics and golden fluid acrylics and some golden high flow acrylics. I specifically use the high flow acrylic for the tongue. I also found that heat setting it with my hair dryer in between layers to dry them uh, also helped it set. So I, you'll see me drying it a lot throughout this video and that's what's happening. I found that worked the best. And then I threw these masks in the dryer once they were done to heat set them per the instructions on the back of the GAC 900.
Highlights are my favorite thing. They really often make something come together and start looking like something. In total, I did three different masks. Here you will see footage of two of those masks, but I really enjoyed it and had a great time exploring some different options for masks. So that's the cheetah mask. Now we're moving on to the horse mask. I was able to incorporate my hot pink high flow neon acrylic paint from Golden for the nose, those pink areas, which always makes me happy. Again, trying to preserve those black areas so you can at least breathe out of this thing. It is a little warm, but it's also summer, so I'd rather have something fun to wear. So here you can see all three masks that I finished and painted. And I often wear these to my local farmer's market uh, where I sell my prints and stickers. They always get a little comment from someone. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends. Subscribe. And get out there and paint your own mask. For goodness sake, Everybody's wearing them. It's a fashion statement. This is your opportunity to make it your fashion statement and share your artwork with the world at large. Get out there and do it.